Uh, so let's call to order the meet of the administrative adjustment adjustment hearing for Tuesday, November 16th, 2021. Uh, just a statement of authority pursuant to Maryland code annotated land use article division one, single jurisdiction planning and zoning title four, zoning subtitle two designation and adoption section 4-205 the city of Westminster zoning ordinance section 164 158 one a one the planning director is authorized to grant administrative adjustments from the following requirements contained in this chapter um, in this case it's from local parking requirements the director may grant an administrative adjustment in cases where the strict compliance with the requirements of this chapter the zoning ordinance would result in a practical difficulty or unreasonable hardship which was not caused by the applicant uh, with that, um, we're going to hear case number 2103, an application by Westminster Center Associates, the applicant and property owner, requesting approval of an administrative adjustment from six from 265 for 265 and 275 Baltimore Boulevard to the parking requirements of the City of Westminster Zoning Ordinance Section 164-111. And with that, Andrew. Thank you, Mr. Depot. All right. So this is the um, administrative adjustment 21-3. The applicant is requesting, as you mentioned, an administrative adjustment approval for lots one and two of Westminster Station be determined based on plan commercial center as set forth in the Carroll County Parking Code, which the requirement would be five and a half spaces for every 1,000 square feet of floor area. Just for the record, lot two is the lot that has that currently has Westminster Station with the CVS and retail center, and lot one is where um, the future um, shopping plaza will be located. This, um, as mentioned, this is the location right across from the town mall of Westminster, next to East Middle School, behind the um, the old Carroll County Times building and near Carroll County Government Office building. For the, there's three findings of fact that must be determined. Number one is exceptional or ex extraordinary circumstances or conditions applying to the property. With reviewing the application that is, that's posted on the city website and also the um, information from the application in the, my staff report, um, I, we are, I agree that a shopping center parking requirement would better serve the city and its businesses more efficiently and fairly. The city of Frederick lists shopping center parking use, which would be an average of 200 square feet. The applicant through the Carroll County's code is looking for um, one parking space for each 182 square feet for Westminster, which would be more stringent than what Frederick um, currently utilizes. The second finding of fact would be the the, that the granting of the administrative adjustment would be necessary for the preservation and enjoyment of substantial property rights. Um, just um, wanted to emphasize the underlined and highlighted and the bold, uh, as more uses are located on a single property, not only does the amount of research in decrease, increase, but the spirit of the parking section itself decreases since with a conglomeration of uses on one property, there is no consideration for customers parking and patronizing multiple stores on a single property. So for instance, you have uh, several, each use requires its own parking, uh, own parking calculation. However, with um, multiple uses and conglomeration of stores, one, uh, a single car, it would, it would be uh, reasonable to say that you'd have um, some people um, parking in one spot and not only going to the one store, but multiple stores. Um, then the last finding of fact is will not be a substantial detriment to adjacent properties. Now the, the use of the county shopping center parking calculation versus the individual city use parking calculation would equal 32 less parking spaces for the site. Now, with breaking down individual individual use requirements for Westminster, Frederick, and Carroll County for bar, the beauty shops, with the um, the uses seen here, Westminster individually with the beauty shops would require 52 parking spaces, while the city of Frederick 
would require eight and Carroll County would require 72. Just to note that beautifications, the, the, the beauty shop use would be calculated based off of um, seats and employees. So with looking at the shopping center use because city of Frederick and Carroll County each have those, the shopping center parking calculations for Frederick and Carroll County would require approximately 13 and 15 pay parking spaces respectively. Um, and it would also, um, I, would, I would say it would be safe to assume that even though Carroll County for the single use requires 72 parking spaces and for the shopping center use for this type of use would only require 15. Um, so it would look like even though they require 72, if this use would be in a shopping center, that 72 parking space use would be a consideration when they came up with, um, or that use would be taken into consideration when they derived their shopping center parking calculation. And lastly, Mr. Depot, for the recommendation, um, staff recommends approval of proposed Administrative Adjustment 21-3, pursuant to Section 164-158-1 of the City Zoning Ordinance, subject to the findings of the staff report. And Mr. Depot, I just wanted to bring one at, uh, your attention one item. In the staff report, there was an error, um, and that had to do with the um, required amount of parking spaces. Um, the correct amount is on the last line of this slide, where Frederick would require 13. 13 and Carroll County would require 15. If it's all right with you, after this meeting tomorrow morning, I can change the report to um, include the correct, um, the, the correct parking calculations, just for the record. Well, that's fine. And if you have any questions, let me know and the applicants here as well. So just quickly, so when you were talking about the conglomeration of buildings mm -hmm. and, or uses and people, visiting multiple stores. So you were looking that it's more commonly, at least my understanding is more of a shared parking concept. Correct. So is that what you were looking, that's what you were alluding to? That? Yes, sir. Uh, okay. Where, where multiple use, multiple uses are using one space because the individual is visiting multiple, multiple uses. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Um, I have no other questions. The applicant, if you have anything. Uh, Mr. Depot, I, I, we don't have any questions. I think Mr. Gray's uh, staff report outlined everything quite nicely. No questions from me as well. Okay. Well, again, I, I have nothing. Um, I do believe that the granting of this adjustment, uh, that there is a case where the strict compliance with the requirements of the parking re regulations of the ordinance do result in a practical difficulty or unreasonable hardship. I do believe that it's consistently used um, today, a shared parking concept for shopping centers. We have a B zoning district that allows for multiple uses, that allows for shopping centers. Um, you would think that we would have a shared parking concept to, um, to address that type of activity. So again, with that, um, I concur with the findings of the staff report. Uh, as well as the information provided by the applicant and information in the staff report. And um, the administrative adjustment is therefore granted. I will provide a written response to this and um, get that out to you. There, there is a 30 day period, obviously for appeal. Um, Andrew, was there anybody that commented on this? No, Mr. Depot. So we'll still hold that open for 30 days uh, from today uh, for anybody that may appeal this, this ruling. And if nobody has any other questions, um, I wanna thank everybody and, and close the meeting.